solve the differential equation. So this is a fifth order differential equation. So we'll start by writing down the characteristic equation. So because it's the fifth derivative, uh, we write down m to the fifth, and it's equal to zero. Okay, so now we solve this equation. So this equation has one solution, m equals zero, and it appears five times. So the multiplicity, right, we have five copies of m, so the multiplicity is five. So now let's carefully write down the answer. So the answer here is going to be y equals c1 e to the 0x. So if it was just um, multiplicity 1, that would be the answer. If it was multiplicity 2, you'd put an x here, and that would be the answer. If it was 3, you would do this, and that would be the answer. We're not quite there yet. So 4 would be x cubed e to the 0x, and then multiplicity 5 would be c sub 5 x to the fourth e to the 0 x. Okay, so what happens now, now all the e to the zeros uh, are 1, so you just get c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x squared plus c4 x cubed plus c5 x to the fourth. And that would be the solution to the differential equation. So not hard, but you do have to be careful because the multiplicity is so big. Again, if it was multiplicity 1, that's the answer. If it's multiplicity 2, you multiply by x. So that's the answer. So multiplicity 5, you're going to get you're going to get basically you're going to get five different solutions, you see. And the final answer is just a linear combination of those solutions. Uh, kind of an interesting problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.